What's up you guys? It is Ashley here with Dancing with Ash and today we're going to be wrapping up our isolation series by working on some shimmies, how to do them properly. Believe me, I've gotten some variations on it. I love it. And then I am going to take it a step further and give you a pretty difficult isolation masterclass or technique to work on. That's moving your hips in one direction while taking your rib cage in the opposite direction. I'll show you how to do it. So let's not wait any further. I know you're just dying to get out on that dance floor, so let's get to it. <laughs> start off, what a shimmy is, is actually an isolation of a shore, uh, shoulder, excuse me, going forward and back, forward and back. So my right shoulder's forward, my left shoulder is back, and then I switch it, left shoulder forward, right shoulder back. So if you can see it in um, side view here, this is what's happening, okay? Now, this doesn't look like a shimmy. It's when we actually go faster, we make it faster, 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 right? Then we have this shimmy action, but it's only the shoulders. What tends to happen a lot of times is we don't know how to quite isolate these and we end up doing this or all of it ends up wiggling. Um, <laughs> believe me, this happens more often. You're not the only one if this happens to you. So that is the, the basic idea. So if you're not sure of all the different directions that are our shoulders actually move, which is up, down, forward, and back, and then the full rotation back or forward, I, I recommend going to my upper body isolations video. That'll help you understand what's happening there. Um, and if that's still not working, we got two other options for you. All right, so the first option uh, to help work on your shimmies is actually to sit down on your booty. So this eliminates just even the option of it wiggling and working with the shoulders, right? Because a lot of times, as I was mentioning before, is that when we try to shimmy our shoulders, our booty ends up doing all the work. Well, this eliminates that from happening because it's stationary. It's, it's actually not moving, right? So then you can work on your shoulders individually, okay? And this is gonna take time and then eventually the moves are gonna become smaller. Now, if it's not comfortable for your arms to sit, you know, gently on your lap, you can also hold them off to the side. I have my wrists up or you can have your thumbs up, right? You don't wanna actually shimmy like this. Um, <laughs> that'd be kind of weird, but you can, have, you know what I mean, have your thumbs up and a, like a loose fist. I, for some reason, like to have my wrists up. It doesn't matter. It's all good, but this is more actually more comfortable for me um, than having it like this. So that is okay too, but that will help you. So that is number one. All right, you guys, so here is tip number two that I have found to be beneficial for people to understand. Shimmies, to actually, actually to have your hands preoccupied and giving them something to do by holding onto a ballet bar. It could be a countertop or even the back of a chair. Um, it just gives them something to do so then you can mentally think about your shoulders without having them get in the way. Um, the important thing here is to make sure your booty is still. Our booty likes to sneak in even when we're here at the bar or a countertop or chair. And then eventually you can add that attitude with it, right? Having the arms out, the party, <laughs> um, and, and it can elevate from there. So, oh, just so you guys know, I also call it um, shaking your maracas. Hey, <laughs> there you go. All right, so now we're gonna move into our blow your mind move. Your ultimate isolation move that you want to master is your hip and rib cage mobility going in opposite directions. So wait for that. All right, so now that you guys have worked on your isolations up all up to this point, now let's combine them together. So I think this is one of the most ultimate moves and it can just blow your mind if you're not ready for it. But it, you have to make sure that you understand your rib cage isolations, which is in your upper body isolations, and your lower body isolations, um, or your hip isolations, which is in your lower body isolations video. So if you haven't seen those videos, I recommend them first before you get into this. Um, so it's combining the two to get your maximum rotation, or what I like to call your ooey gooey movement. 
Okay, so what you want to do is you're going to send your hips, right? Our hips have four directions, forward, side, back, side, and you can go right or you can go left or counterclockwise, clockwise. Our rib cage can do the same thing. It can go forward, side, back, side in your clockwise or counterclockwise direction. So let's combine the two. Eat, right? So I'm going to step to the side here so you can see what's going on. So I'm going to take my booty back, right, and my rib cage forward. Or you can also, if you're familiar with yoga, this is our cow position. Now I'm going to shift my rib cage. I'm going to turn this way. I'm going to take my rib cage to the right as I shift my hips left into your cat position in yoga, right? So we're here, and then I'm going to then take my hip to the right, rib cage left, and go back into the cow. Rotate into cat, rotate into cow. Rotate into cat, rotate into cow. And this is where we start getting this awesome, ooey gooey, almost tornado-like, calypso-like movement here. There's a lot going on. So right now, I'm going in a clockwise direction. I'm gonna reverse it and go in the opposite direction or counterclockwise. So I'm in the cat, transition to cow, transition to cat, into cow. Here, right? So here, and here. So it's all about the hips, hips, hips. It's all about the hips and the ribs. I brought those two words together, working in opposition, right? So here to here, like they're rotating around each other. It's, it's really hard to do. So you want to think about your cat cow and transitioning either clockwise or counterclockwise to achieve that. It is not easy. So make sure you hit your points first and then eventually you can smooth it out and it'll get easier. You may have a drunk side. It's okay. Your right side may work better than your left. It's okay. But the more you work on it, the better it's going to be. So. Woo. All right, you guys. So that concludes our isolation series. There may be something that pops up here and there, but I'll be sure to add them if it does. But I think that's enough to work on for now. I hope you really enjoyed this whole series, especially this video. Um, if you like what you saw, make sure you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you think a friend may like it or benefit from it, I'd love for you to share. And if you would love to see more from me, make sure you subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next week. I drop videos every Thursday. I'll see you on the dance floor soon.